Alright, time for a Ramus game. Uh, this is going to be a low elo game here. Uh, yesterday was a higher elo game. Uh, so yeah, we'll switch it up. I'll be playing against a Viego and generally like a full AD combat teams. The switch might go AP Twitch, would be, which would be fine, obviously. Uh, but yeah, very good game for Ramus. If you can pick Ramus into stuff like this, this is going to be absolutely beautiful for you. Uh, I got kind of lucky, I suppose, because I only picked it into like, I believe, Viego, and that's about it. And then they just drafted that against me, which is very surprising. But anyway, uh, generally, if you're picking Ramus, I'd recommend picking him like later on, like last pick maybe fourth pick on your team in the champ select if you can uh, to just counter like heavy heavy ad comms like this which is going to be good it seems that lux has smite if she wants to use that i'll be actually kind of nice she can uh, give me a, a better leash i suppose i'm gonna see if i can affect the top lane uh, early on at least like uh, get like a maybe an early kill on set to sway the fiora can you just smite hello she gonna like lost hit it at this point what is she doing i don't know eh like obviously the smite i think is a mistake but at least she could have just given me 600 damage worth of uh damage from smite on my camp i don't know why that wasn't the case but okay i guess if i'm starting on blue side i actually like taking taunt second uh, more than taking q for the extra attack speed so i clear this more the q is like nice for the other one a little bit because you have to run further plus it's more aoe damage which is really good but on this side, for the Gromp and stuff, I prefer having the E so I can uh, have more attack speed, essentially. Like, slightly cleared as fast. It's also not that, war not, not that far of a walk as well, so there's that too. Uh, but yeah. For the build, by the way, there will be an in-depth explanation in the description and the Patreon, as well as other educational content there as well. If you want to check that out, uh, be my guest. And uh, yeah. Gonna go for a calm full clear, something that is easy, re uh, easy to replicate for most of you. The nice full clear will always be a nice and clean one. You can obviously adapt slightly if you're getting like invaded and like on vision and type, all, all of that type of stuff. That'll be fine. Ooh, okay, one for one on top. My bot lane just got two kills. That's going in an interesting, uh, interesting manner so far, I suppose. Use my E for attack speed. All good. Just finished the clear. No real worries here. Some uh, very early kills going on. And again, I feel like that Jinx is probably going to give that shutdown, uh, shutdown away quite fast as well. The set's probably going to go, t like, uh, teleport back and walk back into the wave. Uh, if the Fiora holds it, like, reasonably there, I can just gank after finishing this camp, which should be fine. See, clear speed on this is pretty reasonable. Auto attack the ones that split the last, and then we can go for this now. Oh... So early, I'm gonna have to flash for him, I think. Nice death, perfect. If you would have just chilled and waited, Seth wouldn't have probably, like, probably wouldn't have walked all the way back. Ooh, hey, Viego, what are you doing, fam? Buddy, buddy, buddy. Taunt him, and then one, like, I waited there essentially for my taunt. I can use my W, he flashed, that's fine. I was basically just waiting with my, uh, with my taunt till my W was up, so I can use that against him there. And at this stage, I probably could just run, run through mid and maybe get the gank on Zed, but also, like, prioritize going for bot scuttle here. Let's see if I can run at him. Might be possible. I don't think so, but that's fine. This is all good. Oh, that's a pike rotation. I'm gonna lose scuttle for this, though. Like, with a pike here and the Lux just going bot lane anyway, I can't really walk up to the scuttle regardless, so I'm kind of losing that one no matter what. Pike's gonna go back in this one as, uh, as well. I step, put my W up, plant the sky on, the sky on the turret, hopefully. Twitch here too, my god, relax, man. Dude, that dude didn't even die. That's rough. That is very rough. Actually, I could potentially bait this out. He might think this is a possible kill, which might prompt me to be able to bait it. Yeah, that's a Twitch and Pike rotation towards mid, so it's a 4v2. Uh, without my bot lane moving, and they're not now gonna get even more kills. That's kind of rough. Alright then. Fair enough. I'm just gonna walk at my Krugs here, because they should respawn relatively soon here in about 20 seconds or so. 
And I could just full clear down, like, maybe play towards bot side instead. Because I feel like my Fiora is going to be... Actually, she died as well. Uh, my team is losing their lead quite significantly. Very good rotation from both Twitch and Pike. If Twitch didn't rotate, I may have been able to, like, actually go for kill shots. But, uh, eh. Yeah, I don't know. It's just going to spawn soon. Let's just wait here for a little bit. It's fine. Very interesting. Didn't think so. We are definitely in a very spicy position right now after that. That was a very good play from their bot side uh, without Lux rotating or following. So that is uh, extremely favorable for the enemy team right now. But the good thing here is like you have to realize, right, there's still a full AD comp and Twitch is actually building AD as well, I believe. So my champion is going to be absolutely insane at the longer this game goes on, essentially. I'm going to be pretty happy about that one. We clear this and then we just go for the bot side camps, I suppose. Get this everything on the respawn here, and then we might be able to look for like dragon or bot side. Do want to play for that herald as well and spawn ideally, but you know, we'll see. All right. I don't think there's, there's any chance you'll be doing that dragon. With your W, like you're basically killing your camp, no problem. You are killing him, that's good. Diego is mid. Taking my time here to just clear these camps calmly, really. Uh, it's got a good respawn on the Gromp here. Keep my eyes out from bot lane. J Viego might rotate there now. It does have two kills now, though. That kind of sucks. It's all good, though. We'll uh, just play nice, nice and calm. We'll see what happens. Don't really want to smite this, to be honest, because... Uh... Oh, that's not good. I did Dragon with Zed, with Zed. Yeah, fair enough. I had a feeling... Didn't really have any option to contest that one either, because, like, Zed Pryo and stuff. Oh, no, please don't, don't die to this, I beg. It's okay, though. I will just play for the Rift Herald. It'll be fine. Please don't die to this, I beg. Like, that would be very unfortunate. I'm doing this in... Okay, Diego is there. I think my best call is just resetting and playing for this Rift Herald on respawn right now. Because they both should reset as well at this moment in time, I think. So uh, we're just going to do that. Sorx, just run out of base and go sprint towards the Rift Herald here. Engage happened on mid lane. And I sprint towards like Top Scuttle Rift Herald. Maybe I can kill Set before anything else and that be could be good. Might be able to kill Zed here as well, especially if he uses his W on the wave right now. To clear the backside of the wave, that would be very, very beneficial. We'll give it a try. Yeah, I didn't think so. That sucks. I was really hoping he'd waste his W, but he didn't. So he actually played that quite smart in the end there, fortunately. I think starting Herald might be a little risky here. That actually hits my pet on that thing, really. All right, then, Herald. Sure thing, buddy. I, I don't... I can't... Like, I literally cannot deal with this right now. My Fiora doesn't have any mana to really make this play a thing. So I guess I just have to wait with Herald. Done. Ah, man. Okay, we are not in a great state after that uh, good play from them. Gotta recover a little bit. Should be should be okay though. I have this thing for the herald, so he can't just sneak it right now. So I just take my time here, play it a little calm, and just go for the camps. It's okay. Kind of hoping Viego like shows bolt here. That would be very beneficial for me right now. Okay, he just he's doing rift herald probably. Hit it! Hit it! He, wait, he, sn he snuck past it. Oh, he got me with that. Damn it, man. That's fair play. Damn, he snuck past, like, hugging the wall here, so he actually got past it. Kind of crazy. Fair enough, Diego. Good move, my, my boy. Flash here. Something a little too risky for me there. Ah, good, good move from Viego. I, I, because of this, I had a false sense of security, and I wasn't honestly wasn't expecting uh, this Elo to walk past this wall here. It, yeah, it's my bad. I respect the play. Good rift I'll take from him there. I will say, I have to admit, because the only way you can get past this is if you hog this very tightly, then you can get it, or I guess flash into the pit. But I don't think he would have done that. 
All right, rip my Rift Herald. Still, we won the fight, though, like on the top side situation there. Just like they were hitting me on W. I can just kind of taunt and get a bunch of free damage off, and it's kind of fine. But that does suck quite badly. Lose the Rift Herald like that. I didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, he seems to be rushing a Kraken Slayer, I think. Okay. A little unfortunate, but... This bot lane wave should be pushing back towards my si my team's side. So if I clear these bot side two camps, I think the wave should be in a pretty comfortable position to go for a gank for. Most likely, so that's probably what I'm going to look at here. If I can get like the kill on Twitch and Pike and stuff. Ooh. He is uh, doing something. I can see it. He might be doing my Gromp. Maybe? Would he? Probably not, right? That would be very, very risky. Actually did end up doing my Gromp. Okay. Guy is uh, playing pretty well. I mean, he doesn't stand a chance of one of wanting me because of reflect damage just being straight up too much to deal with. There he goes. Not too much of a worry. A little bit spicy though, for sure. Did he really have all of that time? Well, I'm just gonna go for this guy. He doesn't have any energy right now, so he's just dead. He's backed off. If this would have stepped up, I would have probably gone for that. Very surprised he actually went for my Grump there. Fair enough. He is, uh, he is playing respectably well, I will say. Maybe I'm allowing him a little bit too much, potentially. That, that could definitely be the case as well here, to be fair. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do this camp reset and rush to the dragon, because I don't want to be losing any more camps against this man, essentially. Or any more objectives against this man that he's been rushing into, essentially. So let's do this. We've got the thorn mill, which is going to make me extremely strong, and we should be chilling. Like, our main damage item has been completed now, so that's very good. So we just rush on over and see if we can play for this dragon right now, and we should be good. I will uh, no longer disrespect anything right here. He's been playing pretty re pretty respectably. He's going in a little early. I don't like this too much because they just die now for no reason. Ah, it really sucks. My team just took that engage for absolutely zero reason. I was able to hold this off, but if my team would have just waited for me, that would have been an absolutely free fight. No questions asked, but they just went too early. He just went early. I just do dragon here. We lose mid turret, which is fine, but I can't contest the dragon, so I'll just get the dragon. There it goes. At least I get that. I'm going for this. He should be dying, right? Okay, my Jinx didn't want to go for it, so I guess I just have to commit my ult to that one. At this moment in time, I'm going to be playing pretty aggressive, because this blue is going to be respawning. His top side's most likely up as well, and I just want to go for this. Place one there and just hop the wall. He should be a death. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. I actually thought there were more minions there, so I thought I was a little bit safer, but I wasn't. Pike's gonna ult me if I'm not careful. Could be fine to do this. I opted for the kill shot instead of taking his topside camps, which may or may not be worth it, I don't know. Alright, we go mid. This is just a free double kill. Uh, free one kill, I guess. Uh, Fizz didn't want to ult the pike for whatever reason, so he uh, it's not a double kill. It's okay, though. He's still not ulting. Like, I don't understand what he's holding his, like, he's holding, <laughs> he's holding his ult for. Kind of, but I guess. I uh, should probably rotate up, yeah. I'm gonna do this, so I'm in a better position here. Did he just... Oh, he did he didn't. I was about to say, did he just run past and went for my red buff or something? That would be crazy. I don't know about this one, man. I'm gonna go for Scuttle here. If there's an engage on top, I'll go for it. If Diego engages on me, he's dead, so he can't do that anyway. There he goes, he's already dead. Look at him. 
need to smite him there real quick. The Fiora true damage is definitely going to get me here, I think. Yeah. Uh, the fact that Fiora died on the dive there is really bad for me. Because he, he... Yeah, that little bit of true damage. He also got the passive reset, so I couldn't really go in on Viego properly as well. Fiora just kind of... Kind of trolled a little bit too hard there, unfortunately. It is what it is, though. Uh, all I have to do is just get more armor, so I'm just going to go Sunfire next. For both of those. Yeah, that really does suck, to be fair, because I now lose the Rift Herald once again, unfortunately, because of that situation. I was able to get out barely there. Damn. It's out of my control, though, there. If, like, obviously, if Fiora plays it, like, slightly better, it's completely free, but that that's not something, something I can help, right? Let's see if I can just go for the bot lane to defend turret and go for the play here. That'd be good. He does still have Pike Ult for a little bit. I'm just gonna go for it, whatever. Okay, should be fine. Pike's dead. He sacrificed himself for his Twitch. It's fine. He's worth the shot down anyway, so I kind of wanted him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a, uh, a spicy one this game, but that's all good. I lost a little bit too many objectives though, like two Rift Heralds losing that is quite painful. The second one doesn't really matter to be fair. Uh, but that one was kind of out of my control. The first one, I definitely could have done something more about. I just, well, not disrespecting him too much, I suppose. No matter what, I'm just going kind to of keep my clear fairly consistent here. Maybe I could have defended that. Maybe I should have defended that. What is this? Can you not, please? What are you doing, fam? What is... Okay, thank god he stopped doing it. That would have been really sad. Haunt him. Instantly W myself here as well. He should be dead. I didn't initially want to take the kill, but he may have died because I waited too long. Interesting. This is uh, looking a little spicy at the moment, for sure. He's probably going to herald top lane here, I would imagine. Okay. Ah, it's too optimistic. I will not disrespect him too much. Turn this off so I, I can wait for the cooldown. I'm just gonna taunt him right away so he doesn't instantly like shield or anything. And I, I do kind of trolled. What is happening here, man? I'm just gonna go for it. He should be dead. Hit, hit the Herald, thank you. It should be a free play. I didn't want to smite, but I ended up kind of having to smite, because otherwise he was going to get distance. I just sprint down the Dragon, and it should be okay. In that situation, like, I could just go in, because they clumped together, I could just ult into it, and it should be completely fine. They committed pretty heavily to bot lane. I guess we kind of traded a little bit. I'm just going to clear the wave here real quick. I just want to do Dragon above anything else, to be honest. But I'm going to spot the Zed here real quick and then see if I can do something about it. Zed here. I'm too fast for him there. So he kind of just dies for free, essentially. Uh, he tried... Like, his Shadow Placement was his death sentence instantly. We should be able to Dragon off that one, hopefully. Ah, uh, Fist rolled. Right there, realistically, what Fist should do is E over the wall and just hit it and then hit the plant back. That would have been way better. Because then this wouldn't have never been an issue. He's not going to realize what he's what he's supposed to do here to get rid of that thing. I guess the enemy team isn't contesting it either, so it's kind of fine, I suppose. I'll get another dragon here. It, it's just more risky for him not to clear the plant there, is what I'm saying, for the most part. That is a mistake on my end. Taunt him. W myself. He's not going to do any damage to me, which is good. This is fine. Didn't land, that's okay. I don't have a fresh red buff, so there's a small chance. Many teammate have it? No? Okay. He intercepted me barely there. My face is dead. Oh, minion wave. Hold up. Damn. I mean, I cleared most of it, it's fine. 
I have a lot of gold, so I definitely need to recall very soon. I don't want to walk too aggressively for the scuttle here because of the pike. Their team is just going to be there. Prattle just ult away. It's fine. I'm uh, going to have to play respect. Why are you hitting my... Can you not do this, please? You just took my camp for no reason. That's very sad, actually. All right, then. Uh, she's going to die here. I need to reset soon. I have so much gold. I can't be walking around with this. You are dead again. Okay. Too disrespectful. So, uh, this is going to be a little spicy because I think they just barren now, right? I have to recall here. I have way too much gold not to recall right now, so I have no choice. Do this, this, and then I'll get double cloth. Get more armor. Even start still the, 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 the main mythic option. The more armor I get, the, the better this is going to be. Alright, right, my Jinx ran it, unfortunately. Good ward, thank you. I appreciate those. I'll be right Just go in on this, no? I'm pretty sure I can. Walk past everything here. Should be his instant death, right? Uh, my fist troll pathed, actually. I re only realized this just now. But my fist walked, like, all the way around here instead of just cutting him off like that, which would have instantly double killed him. That sucks. I'm gonna have to go top because my Lux is st still going bot. This is an interesting situation to be in, for sure. He is dead. we will never be able to get the pike, probably. Actually, maybe. He's dead. Perfect. He has Hill Blade, so he kills himself pretty quickly on me, at least. This. We can Baron, but only if they come right now. And that is just going to be a flip, because it just depends on whether they want to do it or not. Because Viego is currently dead, so this should be a free, since uh, Zed's also bot side. And I don't have to worry too much about Twitch, so this realistically is free as long as they show up, which they do. So it should be okay. So it's going to take us maybe a little bit, but I can tank this literally forever, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. All right, good. They are in fact full AD, so I'm gonna be absolutely swimming in a bit. It's not a problem. Oh, that's a Twitch. That's a Z. We're just gonna go for it. No threat here. Really? That's exhaust is so annoying, man. Yeah, that exhaust wrecked me there, honestly. I would have absolutely destroyed them. Fair enough. Which also flashed there, I believe. Oh no. The set was allowed to walk past. Yora? And you like... Oh no. Oh boy. Right, okay, okay. This is a little interesting, for sure. The Twitch also flashed there, like he barely got away from me. It, it was very close. The only thing I had to do there was make contact, contact, sorry, and he would have instantly died. Like, literally instantly dead. Should be a free kill, right? I'm not gonna get set W to actually screw that. I'll just use it to escape. My ult, that is. Uh, too optimistic there with my W. Alright, Twitch seems to have uh, went top lane, I think, or something. 30 seconds on that. Very interesting. This game is uh, its definitely a little spicy for sure. As long as I could just focus on these dragons, because every single mountain dragon we pick up right now is going to be absolutely insane, right? So there's that. I'm probably going to focus on like Fiora here, so 20 seconds on this should be fine. I guess I could take my time to clear this plant here, perhaps. Ooh, he's doing this camp. He's definitely doing a Krugs here, right? There he is. Taunt him and he should be dead. Uh, my lock's kind of left. Uh, he, he got the flesh out of it. That sucks. No flesh now, though, so I don't think he realistically should be able to contest here. I just bumped him again. Now he should be dead, right? Nope. He has mercs. He has a lot of CC uh, reduction with his tenacity uh, smite as well. Fair enough. But it doesn't matter, because this way he's zoned out and he's never going to be able to do anything anyway, so it's no problem. Go for set here. Look at that reflect damage on him. It doesn't really matter though, because I can't finish him there. He did, he did lose most of his HP bar though, at least. I'll do that again, he's dead. 
Don't do that. Oh, God. Yeah, I think my team is dead. I don't think I care. Goodbye, you know? That's a five squat, five man squat right there. Do I protect my Fiora here or do I go here? What are they going to do? Because I can definitely do something, but it's just going to depend on what they move towards right now. Did they reset? They could have also reset, I guess. Fiora backed off anyway. They didn't go for mid. It's fine. Definitely some spicy situations going on here. I have my uh, random ones right now, so that's good. I'm going to help my Fiora, though. See a Twitch. I'm just going to go for Twitch, actually. A Fiora's sprinting across the other dimension, so there's no way I get to her anyway. Wait, I didn't activate my W. What? You are trolling, right? That's my bad, man. I, I apparently didn't activate my W when I taunted him there, so he didn't die instantly. I was wondering what happened, but yeah, that's what happened, sadly. We just run into this. Make sure to hit the bush here with the Q and go for it. Run it set, I guess, and just let him hit himself on me. He should die pretty quickly, I would say. Should be fine. Good. Not too bad. I made a slight whoopsie there on the Twitch, though, for sure. Okay. I mean, I am Ramus into a very tanky team, so regardless of anything, right, I'm kind of chilling. Or a very AD heavy team, I'm going to be extremely tanky. I have some time to take top turret here for sure. Diego is bot lane as well. All Jinx has to do is just hit turret and it's fine as long as she does it with her minigun. All we have to worry about right now. Don't take that, it's such a waste. <sighs> oh, yep, okay. The reason you never take that is because it starts shoving the wave, it just gives them free farm. It's not like we can push to end or anything anyway right now. It's, it's just completely useless to take, and it's uh, their respawn timers were too low as well, so Jinx is pretty much just going to insta-die if she goes for that. I do have to reset right now here, though, and we can play for Baron, potentially. I have 4,000 gold, so... Got the random ones. I only have to build armor items here anyway, so we're chilling. Good. And then the last armor item. I'm thinking just going to go... Deadmans, probably, honestly. I think the movement speed here is a lot is, is very very nice for like engage potential. That fizz ultimate definitely hurts. I might be able to uh, engage this still though. Dead, good. It should be free, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm smiting him there because I don't want him to like get aw get away with that basically. Being one HP there, it's fine. Baron. aggro from the minions so I can instantly shove the wave out. We need to be kind of quick about this one. We just do the Baron as fast as possible, basically. Be fine. I could just stand in the Baron and tank it for Fiora. She should be able to do quite a bit of damage here. Whoever tanks Baron gets this Baron Gaze debuff that does 50% less damage to Baron, so... If you are playing a tank or something that does less damage to the objective, definitely make sure you tank it, so your teammates do more damage. We just calmly chill here. There's no way they can be smite stolen, but I'll smite it anyway. We have 46 seconds on this, so I can quickly take this uh, red buff here to have it. And then after that, I could just reset with Baron. I should be able to make it to the dragon in time. The soul here is going to be really good for me as Remus, right? So that's going to be beautiful. Three red. I get the Deadman's Plate. Perfect. We are essentially full build now. And with uh, 500 flat armor and in my thing I'm going to gain a lot more as you can see. It's uh, it's a very spicy amount there. Thornmill has done about 10.5k damage right there. 2000 damage off that. Really hope my team doesn't die right now. Which they might actually do. I have to run mid lane as fast as possible. He's dead here. Slow them. I'm gonna go for this because Fiora is just ending there. So if I finish off the set here, they're just dead. Still there. Finish him off. And Fiora ends the game. Yeah, at some point I'm too tanky right there. Okay, so Fiora ends here. This is uh, this done 12k damage. They're about 
2.2k here, 2.5k on the even Stroud as well. And uh, yeah, that is it for Ramus. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure the like button below. It helps me out quite a bit. And I will see you guys in the endgame stats. All right, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 33.6k damage, which is the most by a large margin here. Actually, I mean, I say large. She was pretty close, actually. Never mind. It's still the most <laughs> by a good margin, I suppose. Whatever. Um, true damage to champions at 1600. We have damage to objectives at 31.6. Diego played this early game objective taking pretty well, uh, sneaking past the uh, river scuttle thingy there as well. Sneaking my first, uh, sneaking the first herald away from me was kind of unfortunate, but also my bad, obviously. So it is what it is. But uh, fair play to him. Came pretty close. Uh, but their team comp is never gonna win against the Ramus. So the later this goes, the freer it gets essentially. Uh, healing down at 15.7. Uh, damage taken here at 28k and we have self-mitigated damage at 86k here as well uh, which is really really good obviously so the most damage and the most damage taken by quite some margins a uh, gold earned at 16.7 for the runes aftershock dealt 2000 damage font of life healed for 700 thereabouts conditioning for bonus armor and magic resist unflinching for some cc reduction uh, against them this was kind of nice. And then Celerity and Water Walking for pure movement speed to be able to rotate around the map quicker and uh, get things done that way, essentially. So, yeah, that is it for Remus. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.